Howdy, y'all. So if you're like me and working on a budget of a whopping zero dollars, you might find it hard to find programs in order to make thumbnails for your videos. Well, today I'm going to show you how I made my last thumbnail using a free app called Pixar. Now I chose this photo, it's a screenshot from my last video, and I want to use the ambulance as a backdrop as well as the EMT in the foreground. So here I'm using the cutout tool, which you can use, you can cut out a person face, whatever, blah, blah, blah. But uh, as you can see from this, it, when it does person, a lot of the times it kind of messes that up. And so I'm gonna go back and uh, I'm gonna show you this like little outline thing down here. You use that and you're just gonna like lasso around the person. Once we're done with this, there's bound to be stuff that we have to fix. Yeah, you can see like the leg and like in between the legs, we gotta get rid of that as well as like around the arms and stuff, uh, just to give it like a more clear picture. All right, so now we have the man cut out. We're gonna save this as a photo and uh, we're gonna add it on top of the other picture. And the reason being, we're gonna make him a little bit larger and also be able to give him that outline. All right, now this is a kind of annoying thing that sometimes happens with Pixar. The background is still there. I'm not really sure why. I don't know if it's something I did or what. Uh, I will show you how to mitigate this later on, but again, for right now, I'm just going through it and recutting it back out. Now that we have the still image of the man by himself, there's like, see a bunch of different effects and whatnot you can use. Uh, we're gonna go into the border effect here and put this white border that you see a lot of the times in uh, various thumbnails around him. Now that we have him here, we're going to repeat this process with uh, some other screenshots I had taken. Uh, we're gonna use this firefighter and we'll drag the bottom right there to make it a little bit bigger so we can see it better. And then we're gonna go again and cut it out. And you know, we're using the lasso again. We're gonna lasso around him and his fire extinguisher and the stream coming out of it. As you can see, we still miss some spots there using the lasso, which is fine. We just go in with the restore and add it in and uh, you know, erase anything that's kind of outlying. So now we have him cut out. We're gonna go and put him into the shot uh, you know, with the EMT. We're gonna add the border, another white border. Uh, and something I forgot last time, uh, we're gonna put a shadow under him. It's another one of the tools down here, uh, right next to border, the shadow. And then you can choose the opacity of it, uh, how much blur there is, where it's positioned, um, and then the color of it. You know, if you want the picture to have more depth, you're gonna use black, but if you wanna like make it stand out or pop, you can use like pink, whatever. I mean, that was just one I picked. White is a big one for that too. Uh, now we're gonna go through and do this whole process again using another screenshot from the photo. And again, we're just repeating this process, positioning him, figuring out what size we want him, we're gonna put the border on, uh, put a shadow around him again, uh, just to give that depth to the photo. All right, next thing, you wanna throw in some text uh, to you know, make it pop. Uh, yellow is a huge color, so that's what we're gonna use. You want it's gonna be something like real simple, but something that's gonna tell your audience what they're getting into when they see the video. With Pixar, they actually have a really good variation of texts. Um, there's a lot that you have to pay for though, but even like there's the free basic ones are really good. I like this one here, the Special Elite. Uh, it gives it like a gritty, grainy kind of feel to it. So we're gonna make the text um, yellow and we're gonna give it this gradience. And uh, we're gonna go into like a darker yellow you want to avoid using like reds or anything like that because uh, that's not really going to stand out against like the YouTube backdrop but that orange kind of gives it like this burnt-ish feel to it which is really cool and then of course you got to throw a border around it uh, which is the stroke 
just a big black bold border and some shadow to it. Um, well, after we size it, you know, throw in some shadow just like you did with the other stuff. So that pretty much does it for this picture. Uh, there's one more thing, I'm throwing my logo. Now, uh, one thing I forgot, when you cut on an image, it saves it as a sticker as well as just a photo. So you go in, go to your stickers, go to your collection or whatever, and it'll be everything you've cut out. As you see, there's a lot of stuff I use for my thumbnails in here, as well as the logo for listener games. Now with the logo, I want the opposite effect of the depth of feel to the photo. I want this one to pop, so I'm gonna put a big black border around it to make it stand out. So with the shadow on this, I don't really want to give it like a depth feel to it. Uh, so I'm going to make it pop by using this bright blue. And I make it like a color that I'm going to be able to reuse multiple times. Um, but it's something I want to catch the viewer's eye as well as something that's going to be recognizable. Anytime they see one of my videos, it's going to have that right there on it, you know? And from there, you just, you know, apply, save, and it's saved directly to your photos. And that's it. I appreciate y'all sticking around for this. Uh, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos from us. If you like that, uh, we can do a few other things in that same vein. If you didn't like it, then, you know, whatever. But go ahead and tell me in the comments what you thought about this video and if it was helpful for you. Thanks again for watching, and uh, bye.